Recently, a study has claimed that an average person consumes about 5 grams of plastic each week, roughly the size of a credit card. Although the data contains severe errors, microplastics remain a silent threat to our health. Microplastics, those tiny particles of plastic found in our food, water, and air, are sneaking into our bodies every single day. But don't worry, there are ways to help your body fight back. In this video, we'll share seven effective and science-backed methods to remove microplastics from your system and minimize their harmful effects. We'll also break down five common reasons microplastics enter your body so you can avoid them in the first place. Before trying any detox methods, consult a healthcare professional to ensure they're safe and suitable for you. Stay tuned until the end of the video to uncover the hidden ways microplastics might already be impacting your life and how you can take control starting today. Now, let's get started. 1. Hydrate with filtered water. Hydrating with filtered water is one of the most effective and natural ways to help your body combat the accumulation of microplastics. Water plays a crucial role in nearly every bodily function, especially when it comes to detoxification. But not all water is created equal. Drinking unfiltered water often introduces more microplastics into your system, as these particles have been found in everything from tap water to bottled water. By choosing filtered water, you eliminate a significant source of these tiny invaders while empowering your body to cleanse itself more efficiently. When you drink filtered water, your kidneys, which are the body's primary filtration system, can operate at peak efficiency. The kidneys work tirelessly to filter toxins and impurities from the bloodstream, converting them into waste products that are excreted in urine. Staying hydrated ensures that this filtration process happens continuously and effectively. 2. Consume more chlorophyll-rich foods. When you consume chlorophyll-rich foods, the process begins in your gastrointestinal tract. Chlorophyll molecules are known for their ability to chelate or bind with harmful particles, including microplastics and their chemical additives. This binding action creates a compound that the body recognizes as waste, allowing it to be safely excreted through the digestive system. By capturing these particles in the gut, chlorophyll prevents microplastics from being absorbed into the bloodstream, where they can travel to organs and tissues, causing oxidative stress and inflammation. The liver, your body's main detoxification organ, also benefits significantly from chlorophyll. Microplastics and the chemicals they carry, such as BPA and phthalates, place a heavy burden on the liver, which must process and neutralize these toxins. Chlorophyll supports liver function by enhancing its enzymatic pathways, particularly those involved in phase 2 detoxification. This phase is responsible for conjugating toxins, making them water-soluble so they can be excreted through bile or urine. By boosting this process, chlorophyll reduces the toxic load on the liver, enabling it to work more efficiently to clear microplastics and their byproducts from the body. 3. Optimize gut health with prebiotics and probiotics. Probiotics, which are live beneficial bacteria, work by populating the gut microbiome with strains that strengthen the intestinal lining. This lining is a selective barrier that determines what substances can pass into the bloodstream. When microplastics enter the digestive system, a robust microbiome ensures that fewer of these particles can breach this barrier. Certain probiotic strains, such as Lactobacillus and Bifidobacterium, enhance the production of mucin, a gel-like substance that coats the gut lining, making it harder for harmful substances like microplastics to penetrate. According to Frontiers in Nutrition, microplastics may disrupt the microbial balance in the gut, nose, and lungs, causing inflammation and unnecessary immune activation. Probiotics help restore this balance by strengthening the gut barrier, reducing intestinal leakage, and lowering inflammatory biomarkers. Combined with prebiotics, they support detoxification and enhance resilience against microplastic-related damage. 4. Increase dietary polyphenols. When microplastics enter your body, they generate reactive oxygen species, or ROS which are unstable molecules that damage cells, proteins, and DNA. 
This oxidative stress can lead to chronic inflammation and impaired function in vital systems like the nervous, cardiovascular, and immune systems. Polyphenols act as scavengers of these harmful ROS, neutralizing them before they can cause further damage. This antioxidant action not only protects existing cells but also helps create an environment where the body can focus on natural detoxification processes rather than repairing constant damage. Polyphenols also enhance the activity of key detoxification enzymes in the liver, particularly those involved in phase 2 detoxification. This phase is responsible for conjugating harmful substances like microplastic-associated chemicals such as bisphenol A, BPA, or phthalates, and making them water-soluble. Once these toxins are converted into a form that can be eliminated, the body excretes them through urine or bile. By boosting liver efficiency, polyphenols reduce the toxic load on the body, ensuring that microplastics and their byproducts are processed and expelled more effectively. 5. Sweat it out with infrared saunas. When you sit in an infrared sauna, the heat penetrates deep into your tissues, increasing your core body temperature. This triggers your body's natural cooling mechanism, sweating. Sweat is not just water leaving your body, it's also a vehicle for expelling toxins, including phthalates and bisphenol A, which are chemicals commonly associated with microplastics. These compounds are stored in fat cells, and the deep penetrating heat of infrared saunas promotes the breakdown of fat deposits, releasing these toxins into the bloodstream, where they can be processed and eliminated. As your body sweats, the toxins are carried to the surface of the skin and expelled. This is particularly important for microplastic-associated chemicals, which can be challenging for the body to metabolize and excrete through traditional pathways like the liver and kidneys alone. Sweating provides an alternative route of elimination, directly reducing the toxic load in your system. Studies have shown that substances like BPA are detectable in sweat, even when they are not as readily found in urine or blood, underscoring the unique role of sweating in detoxification. 6. Adopt intermittent fasting. When you fast, your body transitions from using glucose as its primary energy source to tapping into stored fat for fuel. This metabolic shift, known as ketosis, is particularly important for microplastic detoxification. Many microplastic-associated chemicals, such as phthalates and bisphenol A, BPA, are lipophilic, meaning they are stored in fat cells. By mobilizing fat stores during fasting, these harmful compounds are released into the bloodstream, where they can be processed and eliminated by the body's detoxification systems. Fasting also supports liver detoxification, a key pathway for microplastic removal. The liver is responsible for metabolizing toxins and converting them into substances that can be excreted via urine or bile. During fasting, the liver's workload shifts away from processing dietary nutrients and toward detoxifying the bloodstream. This gives the liver an opportunity to efficiently handle toxins released during fat breakdown, including those linked to microplastics. 7. Reduce exposure and regularly detoxify. Microplastics are pervasive in modern life, infiltrating everything from food and water to the air we breathe. These tiny particles and the chemicals they carry can accumulate in your body, causing oxidative stress, inflammation, and potential damage to vital organs. By focusing on limiting exposure while supporting your body's natural detoxification processes, you create a comprehensive approach to managing this invisible threat. Reducing exposure begins with making intentional lifestyle choices. Everyday items like single-use plastics, plastic food storage containers, and bottled water are significant sources of microplastic contamination. When exposed to heat or wear, these materials leach tiny particles into the food and beverages they contain. Switching to alternatives like glass, stainless steel, or other non-toxic materials significantly cuts down on your microplastic intake. Additionally, avoiding highly processed and packaged foods reduces the risk of ingesting microplastics that can accumulate during manufacturing and packaging. Now let's move on to five ways microplastics enter our body. Microplastics are everywhere in the food we eat, the water we drink, and even the air we breathe. 
understanding how microplastics find their way into our systems is the first step toward minimizing exposure and protecting our health. 1. Through drinking water. Both tap water and bottled water have been found to contain microplastics. These particles enter through contamination in water sources or from the breakdown of plastic pipes, filters, and bottles. Bottled water, in particular, is often a significant contributor as microplastics leach into the water during packaging and storage. 2. Via food. Microplastics are present in a variety of foods, especially seafood, salt, and processed items. Fish and shellfish ingest microplastics in polluted waters, and these particles accumulate in their tissues. Other food items, such as table salt, can also be contaminated during harvesting and packaging. 3. Inhalation of airborne particles. Microplastics aren't limited to water and food, they're also found in the air we breathe. Particles from synthetic textiles, industrial pollution, and urban dust can become airborne and enter our respiratory system. Indoor environments, especially those with carpets, synthetic furnishings, and poor ventilation, are hotspots for airborne microplastics. 4. Through food packaging. Many foods come in plastic packaging, and over time, these materials degrade, shedding tiny particles that contaminate the food. Heating food in plastic containers, such as in microwaves, further accelerates the release of microplastics, which can then be ingested. 5. From personal care products. Certain beauty and hygiene products, like exfoliating scrubs, toothpaste, and shower gels contain microbeads, a type of microplastic. These particles are often washed down the drain, entering water systems and eventually our bodies through water and food contamination. Microplastics may seem like an invisible threat, but now you know how real their impact can be and, more importantly, how to fight back. By making small but consistent changes, like filtering your water, eating detox-friendly foods, and supporting your body's natural cleansing processes, you can reduce the burden of microplastics and take charge of your well-being. Stay mindful of your daily choices. Avoid plastic products, choose natural materials, and educate others about this growing issue. Now that we have discussed the many ways to remove microplastics from our bodies, let's dive into other topics of interest. Interested in knowing more about tips and tricks to shed pounds easily? Let's keep the conversation going with a couple more weight loss related videos. Shall we? Watch Lose Weight with these 10 foods. You may also try our video on 16 quick but strange weight loss tips you may use. Go ahead, click one. Or better yet, watch both and learn more about weight loss and nutrition. What other ways are good to remove microplastics from our bodies? Let us know in the comments below.